Well, good morning, everybody. You know what time it is. Time to go sit outside and do absolutely nothing. You're right. I took my socks off though, it's a hot one. I went out there, I was wearing long pants, socks, these big like winter slippers. What am I doing? So I came in here to put shorts on and get my sandals, it's hot out. So my unscheduled week off is here. It's the first day, so sometime this week we gotta get this all covered up with drywall, taped, puttied, painted which means we gotta paint the rest of this as well. We may not get to everything, but uh, we'll at least get this closed off, right? We can always, we don't have to paint it. Right? I mean, we don't have to paint it right away. I would like to, but there's also a few other things I'd like to get done. Uh, I'm just about to go out and sit on the porch for a little bit, and then we're gonna start pumping water from our creek into the pond, see if we can get that pond level to come up. The pond is looking really good. It's nice and clear. The aeration is really helping it a lot this year. So we're gonna be at home for the next week. Heads up. We will get back to trucking, but you can come hang out with me at home for a few days if you'd like. Well, when I'm filming this, it's Canada Day. So happy Canada Day. Wearing the appropriate shirt. Got all the stuff for the pond on the back of the truck here. Gonna do some trimming while I'm out there. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna to attempt to do, the amateur that I am, this is a big steel post with some steel wire at the top here. I'm gonna shove that down into the creek and, and then I'm gonna hang the pump from this, just so that it's not right on the bottom, sucking up everything on the bottom. And run the hose into the pond. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Kind of excited, let's see. It's a hot day. Wow, have I mentioned that yet? It's a hot day. Wow. What is it? It's 27, 30? So it's probably in the 80s, like 80. A little close to 90 Fahrenheit. Whew. Gotta love summertime. All right, so I brought those clippers down to uh, clip these little trees to trim them up a little bit so that they grow properly. I'm talking about uh, these little guys down there, that guy there. See how he's growing up more like a bush? I want him to grow tall like a tree. And it's hard to mow around these guys here. So I gotta trim the bottom of them a little bit. Make our way up here. Don't want the pond. 4WD, I don't even need it. Okay, and the creek, or the pond I mean, looks so clear. The aeration system is working so well. All right, let me show you. It's a bit windy. I hope the mic won't pick up all the wind. The creek is pretty deep because we've been having quite a bit of rainfall this year. So it's good, lots of water we can suck out of there and bring into here. This pond is looking really nice and clear. Remember all that gunk that was on there? Look at this. It's looking beautiful, beautiful. Let's go down here. Let's take a walk down to the beach, shall we? So I wanna raise the level of this water, probably to about here, probably about another at least four feet. There's a lot of seaweed, or whatever weed at the bottom of this here. Yeah, you probably can't see it because of the reflection, but look how clear that is. It's wonderful. So if we're lucky, we might even get to go swimming later on today or tomorrow. Man, this grass has really grown fast here. Look, you can barely see where the pump is over there. It's all covered. Got to trim around that yet. That's a nice picture right there. Just take a picture of that. Look at that Chevy up on the hill. That's beautiful. I don't know why I left you running, girl. Wasteful of me. Here, you rest your beautiful, your beautiful Cheviness. You just take a rest right there, okay? Enjoy the summer. Okay, let's figure out if I can do this. No idea what I'm doing. It's gonna be fun though. Gotta learn somehow. So it's like we got a little snake <laughs> in the pond shooting water in there. 
I'm just letting it dance around, whatever. It's not hurting anything. Goes from here. I was using this, but uh, I'm gonna try it out with just the extension cord for now. If that doesn't work, I can always use this uh, generator right here. And we got it down there on the stick. You see it? That's the calmest water I could find. I got it hanging so that it's not touching the bottom. I just wish the creek was deep enough so that I could trust that little floaty to turn it off. But I gotta sit here and watch it. The creek shouldn't go any lower, but uh, it's not working as fast as I thought it might. But, you know, it's the same thing with those aerators. You know, it's, unless if I go and buy a big commercial system, this is what I gotta deal with. Whatever, we'll, we'll see. It's supposed to be 3,500 gallons an hour. It'll take several hours to raise this pond up even a little bit. We'll see if it works. I mean, we may have to go and buy a gas-powered commercial pump, right? Or a bigger pump, anyway. I'm an amateur. What? Don't judge me. I'm trying my best here. The water is so clear. And the water's so nice. I'd love to go swimming in there already. We just, just got to get it a little deeper. So we'll see what this does. We'll leave this here for a few hours and see what this does. So apparently I burnt already. Because I'm a Canadian. No surprise there. Oh, Britt pointed it out. Too. Both sides. Burnt. What can you do? You got to do it. You just got to jump in the deep end. So you go out in the sun, you get really burnt, and then after that, it turns into a nice tan, and then you're good for the rest of the year. You won't burn again. I'm pretty sure people with melanoma will not concur. What you're supposed Mel to do- what? Skin cancer. Oh. I'm pretty sure what you're supposed to do is put on sunscreen and wear a hat and drink lots of water and go out for 15 and 20 minute intervals every day. I did wear a hat. Chevy. Protected my head. That's why my head's not burnt. You didn't wear any sunscreen. I don't You've need sunscreen. Spray on. I'm a Easy man. Stuff. Right? Somebody please lecture him besides me. What I say doesn't get through to him, but if his mom says it, suddenly he listens. Mom knows everything, though. I'm not going to deny that, but I know just as much as her. You just don't listen to me. <laughs> then again, mom will probably say I never listened to her either sometimes honestly there's been there's been a couple of circumstances where like i'll give him advice for like a year straight a couple times and then his mom will come out and say the exact same thing like energy drinks i kept telling him speaking of this is the first one i've seen you drink in a while this one's got the this one's a special one i preached at him for like two years straight and then his mom sends him an article and then he stops drinking them. really Mom, mama says mama says i should stop drinking energy drinks Okay, Billy. Oh, wait, no, Bobby. 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 Billy is Billy Madison. My mama say. Bobby Boucher. My mama say energy drinks all the my, devil. My, my, my mama say. My mom say. So we've been sitting here on the porch most of the day, uh, just enjoying Canada Day. There's the flag right there. We're just watching her uh, flap around, doing her Canada Day thing. Suddenly the wind has died down, but it was pretty windy most of the day. It was really nice. Mm hmm. It's been a hot day though. We got the pump working at the pond. So far, the pond has raised two inches. I think that I'm gonna go down there and check on it again. Of course you are. Well, I gotta check on it. It's my project. You gonna come help? Are you coming? No. No? We'll be right back. Come on, Diesel. Go check on the pond. Come on, bud. Come on, we're going down to the pond. This way. Hey. Come here. Oh, I love the way these trees smell. They have that oh, the smell of nature. Oh, yes. All right. So let's see. I put a marker where the water line was when I first started the pump. Still got it pumping water in. Yeah, it's still going. Okay, so oh, it's come up quite a bit. 
right where this stick is here diesel careful <laughs> right where that stick is there that's where the water line was a couple of hours ago or yeah but two hours ago see that now the water line is there so it's slow it's a slow process but it is getting deeper really want to go swimming what do you think diesel you want to go swimming i once again have our house in a mess it is drywall day Britt went off to work and i have been left with the task of one sec i gotta sneeze <laughs> Woo! i'm excited we're doing drywall so i already got these two outlet holes for those down there A lot of people would do the drywall horizontally like this. I'm going to do mine vertically just because uh, I'm here by myself and it would be pretty difficult for me to lift up a whole piece of drywall and hold it there even if I put in like little screws to rest it on. That's how the drywall was before already. That's how the last people did it. That's just how I'm going to do it again. I've cut off an inch off the end here already because it is one inch short of eight feet to the roof. So it should fit in and now that I got those Holes cut out, I'm just gonna cut the power to those those outlets there, poke them through there, and let's see if we can get this first piece up. And then we're almost half done. All right, Diesel, you gonna help? You gonna help, man? What are you doing? Does mom know you're doing this? She's gonna be so mad. She's probably, that's probably her right now. She's like, what you doing? You wrecking the house? I'm fixing the house, Diesel. I didn't look that way. It looks like you're making a big mess, man. It'll look good, I promise. Promise. And so what I've done, I've cut the power and I've confirmed, double check to make sure that there's no power going to these outlets here. This light switch in that outlet. I've just arrange them in a way that they can poke through these holes as I push the drywall into place. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's put you guys there. All right, wish me luck. My very first ever drywall installation. Number one, and you're here with me. Okay, we gotta, okay. Oh, 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 her easy, make her easy, oh, okay, stand her up, maybe too big, Ugh. I need to cut some more off the bottom there, yep, so I totally messed the first one up, made those holes too big, So that's why I bought extras, you know? Me, knowing me, figured I may as well have some extra sheets here, just in case. So here we go, round two. This is the most difficult one because this one's got the outlets, right? The rest won't be as difficult. Let's try again. There we go, that's much better. Much better, all right. Fits, fits. A little bit more of a gap at the top than I wanted, but I can fix that with tape and putty. Much more of a gap than I wanted. Like, I only took off an extra quarter inch, and now it looks like I took off another inch at the top. That's frustrating. I'm glad I don't do this for a living. But then again, if I did do this for a living, I'd probably be a lot better at it. I'll just stick to driving trucks, I guess. And there we go. I got it pinned up. Just got to put the rest of the screws in. Got two in there. Holding it there, I was able to uh, leverage it up, push it up just enough so that it's even with the roof there, as close as I can get it. Tape and putty will fill up the rest. The lights and socket down there is perfect. I think it turned out pretty good. Not bad for a first timer. Huh? Not bad. Very nice. Now for the next one. I'm going to screw this one in totally first and get those plugs put in, but 
That one. That was the easy one. <laughs> I think we're making progress. Oh, all the drywall is up. <laughs> all day. For just this little section. Imagine if I did this, no one would hire me if that was my job. I still gotta putty it. First coat and then do the second coat tomorrow. What took a lot of the day, though it wasn't just the drywall. Uh, we also installed this. An outdoor plug. So that we have power in the back because there's no other outlets back here. So once again, we got to get this all mopped up. Last time I did this, my camera didn't even like it that I was doing so much cleaning and it corrupted all of my files apparently. Remember that day? All my files were corrupted from that day. So I'm not even going to try this. I'm just going to get this all cleaned up before Brick gets home. I've got about two hours. So I'll get this all cleaned up. The floor is mopped. Then I can start mudding, puttying, whatever you want to call it taping the other stuff well at least i gained some experience now and i know what i'm doing what do you think chevy what do you think not bad got the first layer of mud on there we've got to do a second layer eventually yet but for now it's all closed up and almost ready for paint Almost ready. Well, that's it for today, guys. See you again tomorrow.